Hello and good morning, Union Chapel staff, students, and community members. I'm Miss Watson, secretary here at Union Chapel School. First, I would like to say to our students that we surely miss seeing your smiling faces here on campus and we're eagerly awaiting for you to return. Today, we are reminded that the month of February is observed as Black History Month. The month of February is dedicated as Black History Month, honoring the triumphs and struggles of African Americans throughout U.S. history. The story of Black History Month began in 1915 after the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States. In 1915, Carter G. Woodson traveled to Chicago from his home in Washington, D.C. to take part in the national celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Emancipation. In February of 1926, Woodson sent out a press release announcing the first Negro History Week. He chose February because the month contained the birthdays of both Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, two prominent men whose historic achievements African Americans already celebrated. Lincoln's birthday was February 12th, and Frederick Douglass, a former slave, hadn't known his birthday, but marked the occasion on February 14th. Woodson worked in education as a principal for the Armstrong Manual Training School in Washington, D.C. He was dean at Howard University and West Virginia Collegiate Institute. As early as 1940s, efforts began to expand the week of public celebration of African-American heritage and achievements into a longer event. With the rise of the civil rights and black power movements of the 1960s, young African Americans on college campuses urged the organization to change with the times, including a shift to a month-long celebration of black history. In 1976, the 50th anniversary of the first Negro History Week the association officially made the shift to Black History Month. Since then, every U.S. president has issued a proclamation honoring the spirit of Black History Month. Gerald, Gerald Ford began the tradition in 1976, saying the celebration enabled people to seize the opportunity to honor two often neglected accomplishments of African Americans. Ronald Reagan first proclamation stated that understanding the history of black American is the key to understanding the strength of our nation. In 2016, Barack Obama, the nation's first African American president made his last proclamation in honor of Wilson's initiative. Now recognized as one of the nation's oldest celebrations of history. As we mark the 44th year of National African American History Month, let us reflect on the sacrifices and contributions made by generations of African Americans and let us resolve to continue our march toward a day when every person knows the unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This information has been presented to you as a brief moment in Black history. Thank you for your attention.